Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and recently I showcased this awesome level called Shell Train 2. I figured out how to do this, and I'm going to show you how in this tutorial, you can make your own Shell Train levels. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a sub area. Go ahead and put a pipe down and put Mario into the pipe. But anytime you get behind, just pause the video. This is a complex tutorial. It's very hard to set this up. It took me a bit to figure out all the little tricks to get it to work correctly. All right, we've got the goal dragged all the way to the right. Now we're going to place this pipe a few screens over. This will allow everything to load correctly. We'll place it right here and we'll drag it up one so that it's three blocks high. Then we'll fill in three blocks all the way to the end of the level and delete the top right block. Here we'll drag a track piece down against that block like so. This is where all the Bill Blasters will land and shoot out the Buzzy Beetle shells. Now we'll take a look at this dark gray line here that separates these two screens. We're going to delete six blocks here. And where these six blocks were, we're going to put a conveyor belt heading left and we're going to shake it and make it blue so it goes real fast. This will throw the Buzzy Beetle shells off screen quickly once they go by. This will allow the Bill Blasters to constantly shoot out the shells without any gaps in between. We're going to go ahead and set it to cheetah speed so it auto scrolls and locks on the last screen. Next up, we're going to delete some blocks here and we're going to put a pipe here. This will be our exit so we can finish our level. And we will try a P-switch technique first to finish the level. So we'll go ahead and put a couple coin blocks down like so. Now we want to take two one-way walls and put them exactly where I am. Now we'll cap those off with a couple of blocks. All right, now that we have all that set up, we're going to do the build blasters and tracks at the top. This is the most complex part. You're going to make sure you follow along exactly so that everything will line up correctly. All right, the first thing we want to do is drag a track down to the right. Shake it once so it's curved like so. This will drop the Bill Blasters down onto the track that we made below. Now we want to make an open-ended track and place it right here. It's a little hard to see because of the little timer that blocks that. Now we're going to drag each of these all the way over to the solid gray line here, once again that separates the two screens. We're going to use this as a guide to make sure we get everything perfect. We'll drag this one over towards that line as well. Now take Mario. And right here from the gray line, three squares down, we're going to count seven squares over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to drag a track up diagonal one square over from that. Now we're going to recount, make sure we got it right. From the gray line, three down. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the tracks should line up perfectly now. And this one will drag until we can't drag it any further. Now we have all the tracks exactly the way we need them. Just make sure they're open-ended at the right ends. Now we'll make the Bill Blasters. Place a Bill Blaster, place a Buzzy Beetle, shake it, put the shell on the Bill Blaster. Now we'll put all the Bill Blasters on the tracks, like so, so that they're alternating one down, one up, one down, one up, over and over and over again. Once you get all the way to the left, we'll put one diagonal one here. We gotta make two more tracks. These ones are a little more different. Make sure you put them exactly where I am. One will be diagonal, shake it once, shake it twice. That's curved up, put it right here. Put another Bill Blaster down. I'm just copying and pasting all these. This one will make a little L shape. Make sure both of those are open-ended heading towards the tracks. Now that we have all these down here, let's take a closer look here. This one should swoop up to the second Bill Blaster on the bottom row. This one should swoop up right next to this gray line and also towards the third Bill Blaster in that row. If everything lined up like I do, it'll work perfectly. But first, we need to make sure all the arrows are heading right. Tap every single arrow, make sure that they're going along the track and they'll drop down onto that bottom track. Here's the last two. This one should go up, diagonal towards the right. The other one should go towards the left. As you can see, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and try it out and make sure we have no issues. If you lined up everything like I did, including this conveyor belt, notice you can't see the conveyor belt, it's just slightly off screen. All the Bill Blasters come down. 
And if we did it correctly, there should be no gaps in the Buzzy Beetle shells. And we did it, awesome. So if you followed along, you should have this perfect. All right, now that we have that, we're gonna make some little cover up things here so you can't see the tracks. We're gonna make three of them. These are just bullet bill blasters with coins inside. We're gonna move this track out of the way for a second and then drag it back where it was. Notice the bill blaster will cover up the track. You can drag it as high as you want. We'll just put it right here for now. These two bill blasters will put up on these two blocks. This will keep Mario from cheesing the level. We'll drag those up just slightly across the dark gray line that separates the top screen. Next up, we are gonna make an enemy dispenser. This will allow enemies to drop down so Mario has to dodge them. Any semi-solid will work here, but you'll wanna put a bill blaster like so. We'll put a coin in this again to make sure it doesn't shoot out bullet bills. We'll make a curved track piece that travels through the bill blaster like so. This way, when we put note blocks on the track, it'll go past the bill blaster and activate. So if you put enemies in the note blocks, it'll cause the enemies to pop out and dispense below and give Mario something to dodge. We'll go ahead and put a mushroom on the Goomba, put him in the note block, and it should be dispensed by this bill blaster. For the heck of it, we're gonna go ahead and run some bricks across the top like so. All right, that looks pretty decent. Let's go ahead and test out the level now and make sure our enemy dispenser is working correctly. Everything scrolls over. Here come the shells and notice our enemy gets dispensed by the enemy dispenser. Another way you can make enemies, we can make another curved track here, move this bill blaster out of the way, and we'll basically just put enemies on a track that'll come down below. For this one, we'll make a piranha plant that shoots fireballs, but it stays in line of sight, causing for a constant threat to Mario. We'll drag a track piece over like so, and we'll leave it close-ended, that way it'll travel back and forth once it comes down. If we try to put the bill blaster down, it'll go on the track, so we need to move one piece of the track out of the way, put the bill blaster down, and drag the track piece back on top. Now we need our piranha plant, we'll shake him once, and we'll put a mushroom on him to make him nice and big. Beautiful, drop him on the track. All right, we'll put a mushroom here, there's a little power up for Mario too, that might help. Make sure he's heading towards the right so he'll come down quickly. And let's go ahead and test it out. So since we would be waiting on a P-Switch to finish the level, this could be a really cool threat or boss fight for Mario. Notice the piranha travels back and forth as we gotta go across these fuzzy beetle shells and dodge all of its fireballs. It's actually pretty cool. Another cool thing you can do is take spiny shells to make movable spike pits. Just when you place them in the bill blasters to replace the buzzy beetle shells, make sure you do them in sets of two or three or four or five. That way you have a few in a row. We'll go ahead and put some in here. So we're making one pit of three and one pit of four. Let's go ahead and test it out. And as you can see, now we have movable spike pits. Another thing for Mario to dodge it makes the level more tricky. Let's drag Mario into the pipe and make the ending of the level real quick. So we haven't tried out our P-Switch ending yet, so I'm not sure if it'll work right or not. We'll drag up the axe there. Let's go ahead and test it out and see how it goes. But first, let's make some background elements, make this look a little bit better. All right, we need to put a P-Switch down on this track. Let's make the track a little longer, that way it takes some time for the P-Switch to get to the end. We'll go ahead and put the P-Switch down like so. All right, let's test out the level. Here we go. So these semi-solids make it cheesable. We can just jump up here and wait. That's a good way to test this real quick. All right, so the P-switch should be activated just like the note blocks, and it is. But notice the shells keep coming out. That's definitely an issue. It could be a little bit tricky to get through there without dying. The way we can fix this is we can use munchers. And this is actually what they use in the real level. So let's go ahead and put two munchers over the pipe. That way the shells can still travel across, but Mario can't get through. Lay down two solid blocks and a brick breakable by a bob -bob. Now we're gonna take a coin and a muncher. We'll use the P-switch to our advantage here because this will kill the muncher once it's activated. Now we'll put a bob -bob next to this and a pow block. With this setup, a P-switch will cause the pow block to go off, which will get the munchers out of the way. Let's go ahead and eliminate our cheese here so we actually have to play the level. And let's test it out. All right, so here we go again. 
Notice everything still works great. But at the end, instead of a P switch, we're gonna have the POW block activated. But notice once again, the shells just keep coming. How we can fix this is remove these blocks and put coin blocks down. That way when the P switch is activated, the bill blasters will drop down and block the shells. We do need to go up here and extend these a bit, so that way they won't fall over. And we'll put some bricks here too to lock them in place. All right, now let's test it out. As you can see now, once the pow block activates, the shell gets stuck in the bill blasters and we can finish the level. This will conclude the shell train tutorial. Hope this helped you guys out. Now would be a great time to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Also to the top right is the subscribe button. Easiest way to stay up to date with the latest BTG videos. To the left is a couple other videos from BTG I think you might enjoy. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you around.